And so this is kind of the wrap up of this, and I think it's really important to go over this to remind you that all growth is caused by energy. Can you agree with that? Does that make sense to you? Okay. That you grow a practice by energizing one or more of the seven core elements into positive driving forces. Keep this in mind. Any element can be a driving force for influence, but it also can be a resistance force. In other words, you could have three that are really great, and you could have one that was here, and it would be resisting or holding. Anybody into high fidelity here? I know Corbin is. Anybody into hi-fi systems? Okay. Well, in hi-fi systems, thank you for saying you weren't, but in hi-fi systems, each element, you, mean, you have a great speaker, but if you have a poor amplifier, you're going to get that sound. And even the wiring, the wire that you use is, is important. So it's carrying the sound between. It's the same thing with what Mark is doing in video too. Every piece of these element is really important. One is missing, the thing turns down. It's a system. You're in a system. So growth is predictable and reliable when you combine the creative process with human needs and Pareto's principle. But you need to really be thinking about all three. Okay? These are proven principles in the universe. Okay? So here's the deal. Energy is the, is the fuel that drives growth. You control the forces that resist growth with money, time, and energy. Those are the foundational pieces. Okay? When you're building a foundation, those are the foundational pieces. Once you've formed it, okay, once you've formed it, you can grow it. Follow me? <coughs> but until in nature you've got the form and you've got the pattern, right, it's very difficult to grow. Now you have a consistent pattern of behavior that will serve as the foundation. Then you energize marketing, sales, people, and purpose. And those are the real driving forces for growth. Okay? Now, organization will get you so far, money can get you the money back, do you follow me? But the real energy to keep growing comes from the other forces. I happen to be a pilot, okay? I've been flying since 1980. I don't fly with this kind of a cockpit anymore. Mine's all glass cockpit. But it still has all these in instruments. And the reason they developed this, if you go back and do the research on this, they had they did this because they knew that you had a primary instrument, but they also knew when they did, but you could only keep six or seven things in your mind at the same time. You can only keep six or seven things in your consciousness at the same time, and if it gets beyond that, it seeps out. Maybe it goes into the underground, but you don't retain it. So this is like the primary instrument, okay? And then you use these other instruments to tell you, okay, am I... Uh, what altitude am I at? What's my rate of climb? Are my wings, uh, am I in a turn and bank? Are my wings, am I straight and level? What's my airspeed? Okay. Now, there are other things that you monitor too, but, but they did this, and then you, when you learn to fly in the clouds, which is really kind of an interesting experience, okay, you have no reference to the horizon. So this is your primary instrument. Okay. And then these other instruments are secondary to give you more information. So if you think about this, well, how do you make this work? Okay. Remember that the central part of the whole thing is structural tension. Remember that? The central part of the, of the growth and creative process is structural tension. So we take and we make what we call structural tension charts. Okay. It, it, when you do a structural diagnosis of any business, actually, I could do it of any business, not just dentistry. You do a structural diagnosis and you find out what are the key elements, follow me? And then you make each one of these key elements needs to become a driving force, right? But if this is the major, where are we going totally, right? And where are we, right? Follow me? Where are we going and where are we going to get there? And then we add in the purpose element, the people, the marketing, the sales, the time, and the money, and this is your dashboard. Now imagine. Imagine if you understood this, and you understood that in each one of these there were specific strategies to use, and every one of these complemented the direction you were going. And so you could rate every one of these, weak, average, or strong, and that would be the idea of how do you create a business that grows. This is one of my favorite little sayings, and I, I'd like to share it with you. It, uh, it's from... Uh, a piece of artwork that we keep in the center that I bought maybe 20 years ago up in Santa Fe. 
And I just loved the aspect of, of one, one Indian reaching down to help another. But you know, here's what I love about this. Um, I may reach out a hand to try to help someone, but I can't do it alone. Isn't that interesting about dentistry? You require a relationship with someone. Now you don't if you're just going to fix them, but if, if you're going to help them become healthy, it requires a partnership relationship. So you reach your hand, but they've got to be doing what? They've got to be reaching up. So the little poem goes, grab a hold and take this hand that reaches out to you. Look up into my eyes. My spirit cries out to you. My friendship, let, let us climb. The jagged lifts of life together and fight the ascent of opposition together. If we can lift you up today, you can look back and grab the hands of a thousand more. This is the way the great spirit would have it. So thanks, and I certainly hope that you benefited by this. And I hope that I did it in a way that you're able to see the elements, that you're able to see that each one is in relationship to others and each one impacts others. But the issue is you'll never be done with any element. Follow me? That's the neat thing about this. You're always working on it to get them better and better. So thanks very much, and let's get, grab some lunch. Thank you. Thank you.